So here we are at the entrance to the tunnel leading to Bunker, which is a museum inside of a bunker. But in which city? In Tirana. Can't hold my hand. It's scary. I think this bunker is a cold war bunker, as opposed to a World War II bunker. Um, hopefully we'll find out some more soon, Sam. Especially hashtag Bold, is, it, is that what his channel called? Bold and Bankrupt. Bold and Bankrupt. Yeah, he talks about Enver Hodja on his episode, who was like the Albanian dictator, and he was super paranoid, and he built a lot of these things. So super excited about checking out this, and some of the many hundreds of something bunkers he built dotted around. So I think this is a Cold War bunker. We'll find out. So Dad's in the queue to get the tickets, right? Mm -hmm. And what have we found? Tortoises. There's literally a tortoise set right here. And another one over there somewhere. Right next to this weird military zone. Yeah. There's some local tortoises. There's another one down there. Look, there's some green trees. Oh no! It just fell off. That's a lot of effort. Building like a flipping bunker. I'm guessing it can withstand a nuclear bomb. It's a lot of money, a lot of effort. <laughs> Look at that, just weed growing out of it. This is a long way to entrance. Whoa, Sam. So we are here. Yeah. Decontamination room. Enver Hodger's room. Albanian Army Museum. Stairs. And some kind of Albania under Italy. Albania under Germany. Red Albania, that's getting a little prominent. The scale of this place. 106 rooms it's got. It took three years to build. That's a miracle it only took three years. 168,000. That's mad. Well, so apparently the Albanian leadership came with the idea of they visited North Korea. Oh. So they did. Alright, so this part here, from what I can figure out, is the safety valves. So basically, this is what they look like when they're closed. But what happens is there's an explosion up above, and to stop all the dust and crud getting in, the valves are closed, so it would protect the ventilation system. Oh my god. This looks expensive. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently there's arm, arm and drawers. Well, this is what the door would look like when it's closed. Oh, there. Whoa! Concrete gates. Concrete gates, then steel, then three iron airlock doors. What? So these are the concrete gates. Oh my god. So then go in, because then there should be a layer of steel. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, here. Oh my goodness. Steel, and then another concrete gate, and then three airlock doors. Whoa. Can I speak, sir? Oh, this is decontamination room. The speed room there. Okay, so have a look. So you pull this shower. So if you got like radioactive something, because you're coming out from a nuclear war, so you decontaminate yourself here. In the same room, there's a handle which blocks air and you can pull that. Oh, I think that handle's for the air. Oh, not for the shower? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what they're trying to show here is that I'm going to this is Enver Hodja's group. Enver Hodja was the communist dictator who was in power in Albania probably for its entire communist history. Um, I think he died in the 80s maybe, um, before the uh, Berlin Wall came down. But yeah, he was very paranoid. He's like the Albanian version of Kim Jong-il. 
not even Kim Jong Un, Kim Jong Il. Like, um, and yeah, he kept Albania isolated even from the rest of the communist countries. Um, yeah, so apparently this was his room. So, yeah, it's Interhunter's urinal. That's a German bathroom. Ah, uh -huh. <coughs> so, this is. Yeah, so, sound here comes from this old, old radio, which dates back to the communist time. So, and this was your sitting room, right? You can see like a little small detail. All of the bins and all that here. As the communist red star, and you see that on every building. This is Chinese writing on Korea. That's not Korea. That. Yeah, it's either, yeah, I think it's Chinese. <laughs> It's amazing how far the Germans came in World War II. Like, you go all the way to France and Belgium, and then you come all the way here to Albania, to Turkey. The, the Nazis, they came really far. In 1944, uh, so the council decided to exile King Zog and his family. Yeah. They were kicked out of his own country, mm. and there was not a lot of back. So this is some of the communications equipment. Pretty cool. It's used by the leadership, like. Enver Hodja to talk to the army. Why did you do all this? Why can't you just use WhatsApp? I'm going to have it back on. Electrical. So, there was a room like over there and it was full of like barbed wire and stuff. Now, they had that around the borders and they had guard dogs and stuff like that as well. Oh, like electrical wire and trenches yeah, and no. cleared areas. A bit like I guess, like the DMZ in North Korea, South Korea. Like. So you see these boxes? So this is how they did the voting. So, like this, you'd have a box oh. with a photo on it and a box without a photo, like this. So if you voted on this one, you were voting against the Democratic Party. Oh dear. So you could either vote for them or against them. Get out. And it was also the first time that women voted. Look, so 1945 was the first time women were allowed to vote in Albania. So who was going to vote on the other one? Well, that's why the pictures are all people voting for. <laughs> I think. I think it was. Uh, Sam, if you had a chance, where would you vote? Bear in mind there are people watching you vote. Of course. <laughs> you vote for. Yeah, where would you vote? I would for? Know, value my life. Yeah, I'm not sure that they can call themselves the Democratic yeah. Front if there's not really a... It's a bit like how Putin's a Democrat. Sure. <laughs> it's easy to get votes if, if, if everyone is too scared to vote against you.
The chief of staff, right? Chief of staff. So he had like his own toilet and everything as well. This was where they'd hold meetings. This is probably like his secretary for the other. So this is about an American plane crash where and it happened here where they thought they were in Italy but they were, but they were actually here in Albania. So it's a crash and it's an emergency landing. So everyone survived. Well they dismantled the plane to hide the soldiers, the Americans. Yeah, the so they're hiding from the Germans, aren't they? Who's from? The Prime Minister, right? Yeah. Mehmet Shehu. I don't know if I'm butchering the name. Um, he was the Prime Minister. His room is quite cool. Especially yeah, the bedroom. Check out that. He's got like wood panels and everything. Yeah. Very fancy. Make it look homely, yeah. Has he got his own private yeah, yeah. bathroom? Yeah, double bed. Double bed? That's a bit dark. Bathroom still. Keep going, find out. Can you imagine this place when it was operational, right? You had all these people with military army boots. Imagine how epic it would have been. Oh. Oh. It's a room with filters. Yeah, probably the filtration room. Maybe about the air space system or something? Whoa, check out those giant pipes then. Yeah, I don't know. Like gas mask, but the whole bunker. Yeah, so the air comes in and gets filtered and then gets circulated and then goes back out, comes in, gets filtered. Oh, well, here, look, the filters themselves are here behind the door. Mm. That explains why this area had like four different airlock doors to get to. <laughs> If you don't want someone sabotaging that, do you, Sam? No. That would be bad during the nuclear explosion. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Or a chemical one. True. Where are we now? This is the socialist home. Can you give me a tour? So you've got all those cool stuff here. Like the chairs and stuff. And you've got the 
somewhere over now. Come this area shop. Oh yeah, do you see where I do? Yeah. Okay. It's not as full as the Yugoslav one. There's no cocktail. Oh yes. This is the only, I have to admit, the only communist pioneer utopian society. It doesn't look very utopian. All the others did, a little bit. <laughs> you know, whether it's Hungary or whether it's um, Yugoslavia, they all look like, oh, look, look at the promised land. This looks a bit poor. Yeah, I feel like it was better before. Huh? What do you mean you're a communist though? He's a hard labor. 